<gasps> oh no. No, no, I, I, can I leave? I don't want to fight the Great Turtle Dragon. We cannot fight the Great Turtle Dragon. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to, wait for it, Swords and Sandals Pirates. I don't know what it is about that voice, but I just love it. You guys might recall we have checked out a couple of these Swords and Sandals games in the past, primarily, um, one of the Gladiator games, which is really, really fun. I had a lot of fun time with that. And here we're getting, um, Pirates. Now, I'm not sure if this has been out on a web browser or website before, but it hit Steam about like a week or two ago now. It was like towards the end of November. And um, I figured we'd check it out at the very least because it's a lot more different than um, the Gladiators one for a fact. You're a pirate. You go to go out and explore the world and the lands and pillage the booty. And we all know we love to pillage booty as pirates, right? So let's go into a um, new game here and find out what this is all about. Okay, each leader has their own unique motivation for conquering the four oceans, as well as their own special advantage. I, I see. There, there's a lot of faces here. We have, um, Arglax. Uh, this, I guess this is like, um, he's a beast force. Admiral Robinson. Admiral, uh, this voice is just so good. Admiral Robinson. Marie Dupont. Marie Dupont. P. Chaos. <laughs> what? Revlax. P. Chaos. P. Chaos. <laughs> Legion of H. I guess he's the Legion of Hentai. About this commander, an unpredictable tyrant at the very precipice of insanity. Explore. And apparently can also call lightning. You know what? I think I'm gonna pick up He Chaos. You're the I guy from it. Um Gladiators. Antares. Yeah, you totally are. You know, let's go with He Chaos. He Chaos! The Four Oceans War has begun. Okay. The Pirate Council will convene in 20 days to declare a winner. So, my ship is called the Maw of Madness, that's an amazing name. I start off with a thousand gold, and apparently we're starting off in the... Port of Storms. No, I'm not gonna rename the ship, that's amazing. The Maw of Madness, he's got it. Set sail. Let's go, men. You are... Okay. You're currently in sixth place in the Four Oceans War. Begin day. So, what do we, uh, do here? This island is yours at the home of Legion Age. It has a high fort walls that can only be taken by siege. The island earns you 350 gold per day, three buildings. Your reputation with the Rollin Thunder tribe is 50 neutral. And you have not explored this island's secrets yet. Well, why haven't we done that? I guess we'll get out and explore here, Ed. Would it be adventure? Mercenaries for hire. This fortified island port is home to hundreds of soldiers. You watch them train in large square barracks on a high cliff top and are impressed by their skill and discipline. A rotund man with ringlets and his and his oily hair, appro oily hair approaches. My soldiers are the finest in all of Tritoria, but they grow restless here at his barracks. We haven't seen a navy patrol in some weeks, and my men yearn for the sea. Take some of my men with you, offer them coin, and you won't be disappointed. Are you interested in recruiting any of them to your crew? Um... Offer positions in the crew to 20 sailors. I mean, sure. Would you like to go on an adventure? So I need to either roll at least a five on the D20 to win. I think that's fairly good. Yeah, we got it. Marvelous. You were going to take 20 sailors to your service. They seem, they seem fighting fit in ship shape, lot. And within a few hours, I've already cleaned the ship from top to bottom. Visit the tribe. Diplomatic talks at the Rolling Thundar village. Via a series of gestures and arm flailings, you negotiate with the tribal chief. The Rolling Thunder tribe desires the following items from you. They want 8 resources, which we have 50, and 278 gold, which we have 1,000. The tribe is hopeful that relations between your two people will improve with this generous gift. And what exactly do I get for um, becoming diplomatic friends with you, my man? Because I feel that we have... Um, my name's He Chaos, so I think we're gonna attack you instead. <laughs> Too much stock unless it's attack this dude. A battle at Ports of Storms. I'm sorry, I'm I'm just called He Chaos. I gotta do this. We're in the range phase. Troops may now fire. Fire upon which enemy troop? Well, I don't want their range to do their own thing against me. So how about we go after the range guy first? Hey, he's down now. No range attacks for you boys. Melee phase. Which troops will fight this round? Well, if we're doing melee, we can't use range. So how about we go... Heavy? And we shall attack... Uh, we could call it lightning right now, too, huh? Do I have a limited cast of these? Is that, is that area there? 25? Maybe. Um, we're going to... 
furiously attack? It gives us plus one of damage. Hey! Oh, you guys are getting rocked. So that's a tribe leader right there, and then we got a little light dude right here. So we have another range phase. This time, let's attack Captain. And he took one heart damage, so he's down to four. I see. And now with our melee phase, we'll go ahead and... He's light. I guess we should probably use melee. We'll do furious. Oh! Oh, he's down! But he brought two of my boys down. The scumbag did. We lost two heavies. Oh, and now, why is he still fighting if his tribal chief went down? You should just give up, buddy. Boy, he's dead now. <laughs> A hard-fought victory. I'm not sure it was that hard-fought, but sure. Now, we did lose four boys. And I'm slightly worried about this. We liberated the following items from our foes. We got 130 gold coin, six beers and breads, four resources, seven food, and three gems. We also found a golden sandal. These rare artifacts can be used to purchase special items through the world. They also count towards your final rank at the end of the game. Ooh. Okay, so I guess attacking was a good idea? Maybe? Yo, we're in first place now! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Um, by the way, those 20 guys that we bought at the start, apparently they're... They don't replenish. We don't have them. They, they left. Because my crew is now 11 to 13. So we gotta find... Can we adventure one more time? My adventure in this island is complete. So I guess we're done here. I guess we can now go into the port and probably build some things we want to. For more money, huh? New building. Markets? Can I buy some more units this way? No. This is just for food, materials, and luxuries. But can I sell goods? Luxuries. Yeah, I got some of these to sell. I got 10, apparently. 25 gold. That's not too bad. Yeah, give it, let me let me get this gold. So apparently you were set in three days, huh? Yeah, so let's sell off all the luxuries for now. I'll hold on to everything else, though, just for the hell of it and trade goods. That's fine. Cool. So we've done that. Let's go and see if we can buy some more buildings for more gold per day, and then we leave and cast off to somewhere else, I guess. Fort. New building. Um, Each building below to add to the island. Each building adds to the value of your island, currently 350 per gold, or 350 gold per day. So, we already have a Ford Market and Ford Walls. We can get a Tavern, costs us 250 now, 5 and 10. Shipyard, way too much, I would say. I guess we start off with a Tavern first, right? So we're now in second place, but at least now we'll generate 400 gold per day, so we went up by 50. So te technically speaking, in 5 days and more, it'll pay off for itself. So for now, we're done. Let's, uh, leave port, I guess, right? Are you going to the tavern? Oh, we can have a meal. But we're fed and our morale is merry, so we don't really have to do this. Okay, that's cool. So, the buildings you make not only give you money, but apparently they also have, like, an impact on your party. And it's raining, too. Uh, let's go off to the sea, boys. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. There's, like, a, a Godzilla monster right there. Do I want to come towards this guy? I have a feeling it might be a terrible idea. <gasps> oh no! No, no, I, I... Can I leave? I don't want to fight the Great Turtle Dragon. We cannot fight the Great Turtle Dragon. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I escaped from that. We're not fighting no Great Turtle Dragon. But our night, or at least our first day here, has ended. We traveled one league. We won one battle on land. We found a new island and one resource collected today. So, income from Ireland is going to be 400, and... Let's see. So we get to either... We could boost morale? To the next level? What does this do? Oh, okay. So... I could boost morale by having somebody walk the plank? Why would that boost morale, though? It would not do that. Um, 50 morale by killing somebody, apparently. Um, we could also do 54 gold, 10 morale. Right now we're restless, so how about we do 108? I can could, I could afford this one. Extra days pay for everybody. Arr. Morale is cheerful. Alrighty. Congratulations. Oh. More powerful. He chaos is more powerful. Okay, so we get picked. Wow, we get skills too. Minor fisher scientist diver dude. Um, I don't even know what I want here. Um. Let me get a hunter for now, but dualist is something we'll probably want to pick up eventually. Stay on the sparkling blue oceans. All markets are closed for today, and apparently we're in Fort Place now. Alright, so let's go and travel, let's leave back to sea. Okay. 
So we're gonna avoid fighting any sort of freaking monster from Godzilla films for a fact. No kaiju fighting. There's an island right over there. Okay, so let's find out what this is over here. Hopefully some goods and then there's an island down below. Although it does seem to be manned by somebody. Oh, we rescued Jacqueline. Nice, so we got one of the crew members back that we lost. And it's going by the... The iceberg's a good idea. Apparently it is. Because we increased our skills, so we got 10 morale. Which is now sour. Don't worry, boys, we're about to land somewhere. We're in the Isle of Azura. This place is home to the Yum or the Yun Yato tribe. Seek their permission before settling it. I don't seek permission from anybody. I'm He Chaos. Owning this island would earn 200 gold per day. Your reputation is neutral. And you have not explored the islands of the secret yet. So, let's get into adventuring first. Way of the Blue Feather. After an uneventful days of exploring, you and the crew are wandering through dense jungle when a strange man covered in blue feathers approaches you. He grins wildly and gestures into the undergrowth. It seems he's offering to show you a way through the jungle. Your crew seems skeptical, but are mistakenly lost out here. Do we, um, follow this blue feathered individual? I mean, he's feathered like me, so maybe he's fine. <laughs> Would you like to go on an adventure? Oh, we got a row for it. Okay. Um, my morale is too low at the moment, so let's just roll. We got a 10. So it worked out. Wondrous. And my morale increased by 22. The cheerful man leads you, leads you this way and that, singing to himself for several hours. Eventually, the jungle clears and you pass through a rich orchard of trees. You and the crew spend some time picking fruit under the warmth of the sun. Morale is soared. And we got some food. Nice. Very good job, boys. Thanks a lot for hooking up, fellow birdman. Let's encamp for tonight. Night and rest up. And the world goes quiet and still. Let's go back to morale, which is restless, and let's go ahead and do... Let's do another extra day's pay. Congratulations. And what do we go with now? Very good question. Let's get scientists. I like the idea of conducting scientific studies for research notes, so... Learn that skill. Another glorious day on the spot. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll make a comeback. So now that we've done that... Um, let's visit the tribe first before we attack them. I want to see what they're all about. Via a series of gestures and arm flailings, you negotiate with the tribal chief, the Yuden Yoto. So he's asking for 11, which we don't have in 343. We got the gulp, but we don't have enough resources. So, unfortunately, because we can't even, like, warrant that, I'm gonna straight up attack you, buddy. We got two, two, and two. So, a little bit stronger of a battle this time. Uh, let's start off by attacking who? I don't want the ranged guys to attack us, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's go after the ranged ones. Got them down, so they can't range attack us now. Per Melee phase. I don't know who they're gonna send after me, but let's start off with maybe heavy. And we'll do... a cautious... attack. And one of them went down and we lost nobody. That's good to see. Now we're back to ranged. I say we go after... Light dudes? Let's go after Captain. There you go. And now, more than likely, assuming he goes like the last one, maybe the Captain will come out. So if the Captain comes out, let's send myself. I'm gonna call some lightning, maybe. Oh, my. <laughs> lightning was good. Apparently they get one lightning thing. So each cast is like 25. Because we had 25. Alright, so shoot the captain again. Very good. Or the tribal leader. And that's about it. So I'm going to go out there and fight this one myself again. So we don't lose anybody here. And I'm going to go in, um... Maybe a little bit cautious here. Ow! Ow, that guy hurt like hell! I didn't lose anybody, which is good, but good god, I better get that HP back. So we have now taken over this land, right? We found a golden sandal. So we got some coinage, we got some beverage and drink, resources, food, and more things to sell off. We're in third place now, excellent. We got plenty of gold. But we got no fort walls around here, so it can easily be taken away. We gotta build some walls. Now. Gotta build a wall. And we don't have enough for the fort walls either. We need a lot more resources, huh? This is probably one of those instances where, like, having carpentry could help. So, leave poured momentarily. Let's get resources, maybe we luck out. 
We have an ambush chance at war? But why? I thought we wiped them out. We can also go hunting now, too. Oh, and the science thing. Oh, this is where you do it. Alrighty, well, we have a chance of getting ambushed because now we're at war with these people. And that's unfortunate. Two hours would be 42% chance of an ambush. Three hours would be 58%. But I need resources to build those walls. Oh, we weren't attacked. Ah, oh, but we got rice. No, I was looking for building materials, dude. Three hours pass. 11 hours until sunset. We got food. So, let's go again. Oh, we can't do it for resources anymore? That's a shame. Well, we got 11 hours, apparently, until the day's over. Let's do two hours of hunting. You have been ambushed. We have been ambushed. How bad is this ambush? Three, two, and one. At least we don't have to worry about a tribal leader, do I? Maybe? I uh, guess I still do it. I'm still hurt, by the way. And I still haven't got my lightning back. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, so we're gonna start off by ranging on who? I'm gonna say we range on the range bros. Yeah. I just want them sniping us. And I'm definitely not fighting for a while. So let's go light bros, maybe? Against their heavy? Or I'm not sure who they're sending after me right now. But we'll send light bros in a cautious mode. We took three away from his dude. That's that's all right, I guess. Three hearts away from the main guy. Uh, we're back to range. This time we finish off maybe light bros. Oh, we didn't take him out. Oh, that's no good. You disappoint me. Well, let's go light bros again. Cautious. Okay. We're losing a lot of men. So we're gonna have to find some recruits here pretty soon. Range now on... I'd rather have the captain go away. He's still alive! The absolute madman! He doesn't want to die. Let's go heavies and cautious. You have got to be... Taking the piss? Okay. Um... This is not working out the way I expected it suddenly would. I don't want to go myself. I don't think I'm ready for this. Furious? Well, yeah, he's fallen, but so has everybody on my side. I'm gonna have to go myself. In a cautious mode, maybe? Whew. Good show. Yep, oh, yep, yeah, we, um... I don't think we have won much right now because we are very low on crew people. Very, very low on crew people. So we can't fight for a while. And you know, I'm he chaos if I can't fight. I'm not a very happy dude. And I don't even have enough to build a wall still. Which is the unfortunate part. Enter port. Okay, so apparently if I come over to the fort, then we can buy some dudes here, I, I think. So... Hire everyone. Alright, so after all that, we got at least, um, 10 of 13 crew members. There's no other sailors looking for work today. Try again tomorrow. A new ship or two may have arrived in port. So at the very least, we now have replenished some of our fighters here. And we do have a level to our light fighters now, too. Um, so we're gonna definitely want to increase maybe range next time. Because I really rely on ranged early on. Although they're pretty terrible against, um, the tribal leader dudes, it does seem. It's 8 p.m. Night has fallen. Let's camp away. Night falls and the world goes quiet. We did not level up. Oh, wait, yes, we did. Let's boost morale if we can. Um, I don't got that much money, so we definitely have to go out today. So, how about... Morale is merry, though. Let's just use 69 for an extra 10. Timbers. Congratulations. You grow more power. And now, I'm thinking... Haggling could be useful now, because we are 20% discount to old food, all purchases in the market. I think we're going to go with this one instead. And I'm in third place in the war. Your sales have been upgraded too. Layla special sales. One of our sailors, a young woman named Layla, Layla, um, turns out she's a master tailor. She shows you some plans she has been working on to improve the size of your sails. With these new designs, your ship now travels ever faster than ever. Who's that? 
Excellent. Alrighty. Well, we're going to wrap it up here for this one. I'm digging this a lot. It's a lot different. And I'm kind of curious about how the sieges and the fights work out in the sea. Once we're a bit more strong, we can definitely test that out. All the information for the game will be down below if you want to pick it up for yourselves. If you want to see a bit more of this, let me know in the comments. And by leaving a thumbs up, we can definitely come back to it. I'll catch you guys next time.